This satsang is for participants of the program of Essence of Knowledge. There is already a question by Kapil. His question is, the observer of the body, mind, is somehow still very much attached to this limited tiny body. There is a huge gap between I am not body-mind to I am the experiencer. How can I fill the gap? So the first assumption is that uh, experiencer is attached to something which uh, should be cleared first. What kind of attachment is that? What kind of connection is there to the body-mind? Except it is witnessing the body-mind. If you can find any other attachment, any other kind of attachment, except that the body-mind is another appearance on the screen of experiencer, let me know. This should be done with direct experience. The second assumption is there is a huge gap between I am not body-mind to I am experienced. And here there is a mistake in thinking. If I am not the body-mind, then automatically I am experiencer. You cannot be anything else. There are three kinds of experiences. World, which, which are objects, body and mind. So obviously world is not you. And uh, once you say body-mind is not me, then the remaining thing in the existence is the experiencer. So there is no need to fill the gap because there is no gap. There is only wrong thinking, wrong notions in your mind. We should be examined using direct experience. And there is a possibility that the identification is with the body-mind. Identification of thought only. Mind itself is identifying with the body-mind. Question number two. I have experienced an absolute bliss only once or maybe twice. Number two. What would be this state? Can being witness of the body-mind or being the experiencer of the vast lead me there? So states are simply other experiences. That's all they are. Even if the state is very strange, it is still an illusion. If the state is your ordinary waking state, everyday state, it is still an illusion. If it is blissful, it is illusion. If it is suffering, it is illusion. So whatever you experience, whatever you witness will be an illusion. All the states are illusory. Why they are illusory? Because they are changing and they are mind created. They are made up in the mind. The thing is, running after strange experiences shows ignorance. The bliss cannot be found in any experience because it is your nature. Experiencer is bliss. Another name for the experiencer is bliss, where the bliss is defined as absence of activity of any kind. Activity means change and obviously there is no change in the experiencer. Nothing happens there. It is absolutely still. Witness only. The witnessing aspect of the existence is the experiencer. Nothing goes on there. There are no states there because it is not object which can have states like minds and bodies. So running after these states shows ignorance. Realize that you are bliss and whatever is being experienced are changing states. Illusion. And this realization is the true bliss. And hankering after different states, whether it is silence or whether it is visions, sounds, is simply ignorance in the mind. The mind has not matured to this realization that I am bliss. I don't need to find or experience bliss. This thought alone is blissful because there is no running after, there is no struggle. There are, there are no desires to do anything or to be anything or to experience anything. Especially the experiences of the impossible kind. You can experience a little bit of silence somewhere by doing some hard work or hard practices and then it goes away. So impossible to find any kind of bliss or any kind of meaning in any kind of experience. So my suggestion will be to get the evidence first. Get the evidence that your thoughts about experiencer or its nature, bliss, blissful nature, where they are wrong, where they are contradicting the direct experience and logic and write them down 
just like you have written down the questions in a lot of detail which is very good which is showing a little bit of introspection now go to your direct experience and see where is the problem in the question what is the experiencer first you should be established there in this knowledge and only after that you will get the answers and if you don't if you still find that there is a gap between being not being body mind and being experiencer you can still perceive a gap which is not any kind of thought or notion it is real experience of a gap of some kind not imaginary thought how to be the experience something like this there can be a thought in the mind that somebody told me i am not the body or i am not the mind but how to be the experiencer then there is a huge gap now so this shows absence of looking at the direct experience this shows absence of realization of what you are so let go of the thought let go of the wrong notions see that you don't have to close the gap to be, be the experiencer you don't have to imagine a gap in the first place and then you try to close that imaginary gap it is not going to work there is a distortion in the mind that's all there is if you drop it you are the experiencer you are the experiencer of this distortion also that is happening in the mind that it, it is assuming some things and there is another thought in the mind that the observer is attached to the body mind so write down what kind of attachment it is think about it is it really there in your experience what does it look like probably there is attachment of the mind with the body mind it's it is still thinking i am the body mind now how to find this experience or somewhere in the body mind or probably there is thought that i cannot experience anything except this body mind how to get the knowledge of the other experiences that are happening through other body mind these are all wrong thoughts the knowledge of what is being experienced from other instruments will never happen is it possible the knowledge of the true nature does not require the experiences that are happening from the other body minds does it require anything else except the present experience however limited it is it does not matter you are not that experience this much is the knowledge you are the witness of all experiences and even if by a miracle this person starts getting all the experiences happening from other body minds or even one body mind it will simply show only one fact i am not that experience to demonstrate this you can do an an experiment small experiment you have two eyes both eyes are different points of views slightly different so if you close one eye you won't experience whatever is coming from the closed eye now your experience is limited to one eye let us say left eye you will still find that i am not that experience which is coming from the left eye now you close the left eye and you are seeing from the right eye the part of the room which was not visible before because it was on the right side here also the same knowledge will happen that i am not the experience of this whatever is happening through the right eye now you open both eyes and now simultaneously you are getting both experiences of the left side of the room and right side of the room without moving your head but still the knowledge is the same that i am not all these experiences not from the right one not from the left one this is a simple experiment you can do to find out that number of experiences of different kinds produce the same same knowledge that i am not this experience now imagine that you are getting the experiences from other eyes of other people we are limited to only one sense for simplicity convenience and the knowledge will be same that no matter from which eye it is coming from which creature it is coming i am not i am not that experience so to know something does not require fancy experiences of impossible kind knowledge is very simple the problem is wrong notions in the mind it is complicating the situation so very simple experience why is the no- experience limited to this body right now it is for the reasons of survival the memory here the the organism that is gaining the knowledge there the memory is limited 
and is connected to only five senses let us say you can simply ignore the other senses and focus on only the five senses or you can ignore the five focus only on one which are the eyes they produce the eyes produce the illusion of limitation the most because they localize the experience so this memory of this creature where the knowledge is getting stored is connected to only one set of eyes two eyes assuming that non physically it gets connected to some other eyes somewhere in the world this organism will get confused which is my vision it won't come to know what am i seeing am i seeing my room or am i seeing some road some other city somewhere let us say by magic it happens to connect with other instrument somewhere the instrument means the body mind instrument and here the instruments are senses only eyes and this poor organism will die if it starts getting interference from other senses so it is limited even if it is possible to get the experiences from other instrument they will be limited you can you can say like this i don't want simultaneous experience just give me experience one after the other that will be enough to convince that uh, experience is everywhere so even that other experience which happens after your experience which is happening through your senses will give you the same knowledge that i am the experiencer it will not give you a knowledge that experience is there somewhere where the other eyes are no you can think up like this you can do this experiment mentally because i don't recommend disconnecting your eyes here and connecting to somewhere else <laughs> it is surgically possible or it is possible using some occult techniques like uh, telepathy or uh, remote viewing or some other there are techniques but i don't recommend them they don't give you extra knowledge they won't be able to convince you because it will be seen as another limited experience that is happening to me now the mind will say oh the experience is attached to that eyes which are looking at the road in some other city or desert or jungle somewhere else in the world the observer is attached there now now you will be given 100 more experiences and again the mind can can cook cook up anything any distortion can happen there because it will be the same it will be the experience will be exactly the same which you are having right now a limited experience the mind will demand an unlimited experience now and as you know that the more experiences we go on adding into whatever our intellect and mind is capable of the more meaningless it becomes now the mind will say the experiencer is attached to meaningless meaningless experiences i want all these experiences to be meaningful otherwise i am limited i am not unlimited so the problem is not in having a particular experience the problem is imagination that i'll get knowledge only after other experiences happen whatever is needed for the whole knowledge is right now right here and the rest is simply imaginary thoughts in the mind i am the experiencer this can be known right now right here with any kind of experience because ultimately it is negation of the experience the knowledge is negative negative knowledge i am not any experience i am not any thought in the mind i am not any imaginary thing concept in the mind especially the distortions of the mind i am not the body i am not any limited thing i am the witness of the all the limitations also and the formula here is the limitation of the experience does not mean the limitation of the experiencer A simple footnote here is that this sentence was told to me by my guru one day i was confused like this like kapil is confused and one day while talking he said this one sentence limitation of the experience does not mean limitation of the experiencer why should it mean like this and do not assume that the limitation of the experience automatically makes the experiencer limited no just like i gave you the example of eyes closing one eye and other eye the experiencer does not feel limited there even the knowledge says that the eyes are getting closed experiencer is whole and complete all the time so you can do another exp- experiment take a piece of paper a sheet of paper black paper 
make a hole in it small hole that represents limited experience if you look through that hole now only a part of your room will be visible then check the experiencer the observer has it become smaller in size remember that there is no size of the experiencer there is no place there is nothing there now if you increase the hole size of the hole on the paper little bit more view can come in now but the experiencer is the same only the experience has changed into little bit more according to our intellect intellect according to our mind you increase it more you know make the hole bigger but still the situation is same the knowledge is same everything is same same way even if all experiences of all the universe start happening which is simply increasing the size of the hole isn't it the situation will remain same moreover whatever is appearing will become meaningless because all the experiences are coming at the same time so when he said this that experience does not define experiencer everything became clear to me after that i never imagined anything like this so the problem is not knowing who you are problem is not different kinds of experiences that you are getting or not getting think about this for a week and uh, write down your thoughts on a paper that is important and you will see the problems in the thought if you don't write it th- down you will never see the problem this is the a powerful technique to find out the distortions in the mind write down your thoughts today whatever the mind is saying this is not true that is not true this is not knowledge this is knowledge this is the fact whatever it is saying you write it down next day you check it what you have written yesterday now you will be able to notice the problem it is a very good technique to find out a distorted mind by distorted i don't mean it is mad or crazy kind of mind there are unnecessary imaginary thoughts in the mind this technique shows it clearly because it will not be consistent it will not be able to think more than that you can write down where is the attachment and next day you try to find explain it write down what is the attachment and the other day day after that you will say it, it is totally wrong it is inconsistent it is meaningless there are feelings in random thoughts that's all there are they are write down your direct experience in the end and you will find the direct direct experience is the simplest it does not even need thinking it does not need thought or analysis the direct experience is i am i am the experiencer nothing else matters now whatever is happening doesn't matter whatever is not happening doesn't matter i am simply here whole and complete so when the mind is silent you will be established in your true nature thank you everybody for attending today's satsang i'll see you next time